Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 60 of 2020, restructuring the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The Decree 55 of 2019 on restructuring the ministry shall thus be rescinded. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 61 of 2020, stipulating the secondment of Judge Isa Sami Ahmed Al Manai as full time Under Secretary at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty wished the Saudi King lasting good health and happiness, and the people of Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty also praised the deep rooted bilateral ties which are experiencing ongoing development and growth. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness wished King Salman lasting good health and happiness and the people of Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted bilateral ties which are experiencing ongoing development and growth. He also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness wished King Salman lasting good health and happiness and the Saudi people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness also praised the deep-rooted bilateral ties which are experiencing ongoing development and growth. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Unit of Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed good wishes to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, as well as the Saudi people on the occasion of the Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Highness praised the brotherly and historic relations between the two kingdoms and praised the keenness of both leaders to consolidate relations in all fields. He hailed the role of Saudi Arabia since its establishment in 1932 in defending Arab and Islamic issues, as well as its firm stance towards Bahrain and its efforts to support the march of the kingdom. His Highness affirmed the firm stance of Bahrain led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa towards Saudi Arabia for his belief in the common goals and destiny. He added that His Majesty has always asserted that the security of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia is one and both countries are moving towards further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King. His Highness praised the achievements and the developments witnessed in Saudi Arabia on the global level which makes Saudi holds an important role globally on the political and economic levels. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the achievement of the horse Valerian Steel winning first place in the three years and above category and horse Namas winning the first place in the two years category in the Beverly Race. His Highness affirmed that these achievements affirm the strong status of the equestrian sports in the kingdom, which motivates to acquiring further achievements. His Highness highlighted the previous achievements of the Kingdom in, the in this field and affirmed his full support in the upcoming phases to make more accomplishments. He praised the potentials of Valerian Steel and the role of David Ejan in ensuring this achievement, as well as the role of trainer Roger Varian. He also praised the potentials of Namus rider Joe F Fanning and training Mark Johnston. His Highness wished Bahrain further success and future participations. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is celebrating its 90th National Day and the Kingdom is marching towards developments in all fields, which made the Saudi King a role model to be followed in the international level. The streets of the Kingdom of Bahrain were decorated with Saudi flag and bright light, celebrating alongside their brothers, which reflect the historic and strong relations between the two countries. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Zainal sent a cable congratulations to the Saudi Arabia's Shura Council Speaker, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Muhammad Al Sheikh, on the 90th anniversary of his country's National Day. The Speaker affirmed the depth of Bahraini Saudi relations and the continuous cooperation in various fields led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The speaker also sent a similar cable to Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, sent a cable of congratulations to Saudi Arabia's Shura Council speaker, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Muhammad bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, on his country's national day. The Shura chairman expressed pride and appreciation for Saudi Arabia's role under the leadership of the Saudi king in spreading peace and combating extremism, terrorism and foreign interference to ensure security and stability in the region. He affirmed the bilateral cooperation in the parliamentary field and praised the Saudi Council's keenness to support and strengthen these ties for the interests of the two countries and people. The Shura chairman sent a similar cable to Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Bahrain's leadership, government and people are joining Saudi Arabia in celebrating its 90th National Day. More on this report. Bahrain's celebration is a rich tribute to the depth of the close historical fraternal relations between the two kingdoms and their steady development under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. On this occasion, that is dear to the Arab and Islamic world, Bahrain recalls with pride the history of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia since its establishment on September 23, 1932, as a modern and unified state based on solid foundation of justice and wisdom and its honorable contributions to defending religion and supporting regional and international peace and stability. Bahrain also hails Saudi Arabia's great stances in support of its security, stability and development. Saudi Arabia holds a prestigious position in the world thanks to its humanitarian assistance to 81 countries. The kingdom has reached the fifth position in the world and is first in the Arab world in providing humanitarian assistance according to statistics published on the United Nations financial tracking platform. Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King has a firm stance towards Saudi Arabia based on the belief in the unity of purpose and destiny and on the fact that its security is an integral part of Bahrain's security. The leaderships of the two countries are always keen to consolidate their partnership at all levels given the number of intensity of contacts and meetings that have never ceased or paused, the harmony of common positions and their convergent views regarding the challenges facing the region and the world. Other significant factors are the bonds of fraternity, affection and social ties between the two countries and people, which are deep-rooted in history. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, participated in the 13th Ministerial Meeting of the Global Governance Group alongside participation by Japan, Saudi Arabia and Italy. The meeting was held online on the margins of the 57th session of the United Nations. During the meeting, the various challenges of the international community were discussed, especially in light of the pandemic, along with the UN's efforts to bolster international cooperation. The conference concluded with a joint statement which praised the leadership of Saudi Arabia in mobilizing international efforts to combat the pandemic through its sponsorship of the G20's extraordinary meeting in March 2020. The conference also discussed how the health of the global economy can be safeguarded and how the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Objectives can be achieved. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the COVID-19 developments in the Kingdom. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Khalif Al-Mana, expressed his deep appreciation for His Majesty the King's recognition at the Cabinet meeting of the sacrifices made by frontliners and health workers during COVID-19. He noted that the support extended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince continues to underpin Bahrain's success in addressing COVID-19 and expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's leadership in volunteering for the clinical vaccine trials. Dr. Almana recognized that the current phase requires everyone to fully comply with all precautionary measures in place until the 1st of October 2020 to help flatten the curve. 
He provided an update on the work done in response to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's decision to postpone the return of administrative, technical and teaching staff at public schools, affirming that 87% of all public school workers have already been tested, of which 1% returned positive results, with a process underway to test the remaining 13%. Dr. Almana explained that the recovery rate is currently at 89.41% with a 0.34% death rate. Isolation center occupancy stands at 18.7%. 1,431 out of the 7,642 available beds and 5,377 asymptomatic cases are under optional home self-isolation after meeting the set criteria. Infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lt. Col. Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, noted that Bahrain's volunteers for the third phase of the COVID-19 vaccine trial has been extended by 1,700 as a result of the high level of cooperation and participation in the kingdom. He added that the vaccine trial welcomes volunteers over the age of 18 at Hall 4 at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. He added participants must be willing to undergo a health assessment in accordance with health requirements for clinical trial participation. Dr. Al-Gahtani invited fully recovered patients who meet clinical requirements to donate their blood plasma at the BDF Hospital's blood bank to further support efforts in treating active COVID-19 cases. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmani Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, reviewed the health status of active cases, confirming that out of all the cases, only 131 cases are receiving treatment, of which 50 are in a critical condition. She explained that the recent increase in COVID-19 cases is an expected outcome of reduced compliance with precautionary measures, affirming that a higher level and restraint in the upcoming period will manage the increase in cases. Dr. Salman highlighted the importance of following all precautionary measures and social distancing guidelines at all times. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,804 with 741 recoveries, 650 registered new cases. 145 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 497 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.